Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to move a related list on a page layout. So let's go into opportunities and I'll show you kind of what I mean. Just go into any random one. Um, over here, we've got the whole page layout. So we've got details. You can also see that we have a related list over here. Now, this isn't quite the order that I like to see and that the company I work for likes to see. So what we wanna do is we want to move some of these up and maybe move some of these other ones down. So how we're gonna do that is we're gonna go into the page layout and we are going to swap these around. So from here, I'm gonna go click on this gear icon up in the top right, click setup. I could have also gone to that specific object. That's an option I can show you over here. When you go to setup, you can also go to the object. That makes it a little easier, saves you a couple clicks. Then go to page layouts. And then I'm just gonna do the regular opportunity layout. All right. So now we can go click on related lists and that'll take us down to where we see those related lists. All right, so as you can see, we've got products, open activities, notes and attachments, contact roles, stage history, competitors. So now a really easy way to move these around is just to drag and drop them. So I don't like to see products at the top. Personally, I'd like to, let's go back here and see. I like to see notes and attachments because oftentimes companies want to attach the contract to the opportunity. So I'm gonna move that up to the top. We gotta go one more. All right, actually I'm gonna move products down. There we go. And then under notes and attachments, I also wanna see stage history, just so then sales managers can come in quickly and kind of see what has been done and when. It just makes it a lot easier for someone to come into the opportunity and get a grasp on what the heck is going on. All right, I am going to, now that these things are moved, the rest of these kind of look like they're in a good spot. We can always move it later. I'm gonna hit save. And I'm gonna click yes. Now it's gonna save the layout and it'll take a little bit probably for the front end of Salesforce to catch up. So don't worry if it takes like five to 10 minutes of this loading and refresh the page. All right, and as you can see, I actually did not edit that out, but you can see that it has updated and that was real time. But that is how you move around the related lists within Salesforce. Feel free to mess around with this and really dig in deep to see what workflow is best for your company. This is a really easy way to improve workflow for your company. That is a pretty quick, easy thing that you don't have to test out too, too much. But with that being said, thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like. Subscribe if you're feeling generous. You can check out the Salesforce courses down below or on salesforceupskill.com. You can connect with me on LinkedIn or Twitter at Emily Call MBA. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.